Yo, what's the crack, lads? What is going on? I hope you guys are good. And welcome back to another quick, short and sweet video as we get our login bonus here and we get our festive season campaign. We're one day away from the 50 coins, so we will have those 50 coins as well. But we're going to be talking about the match pass today, right? So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because you have two fairly decent players within this match pass depending on when you're starting your journey, right? So with the value match pass and the premium match pass, you always get two players. If you have never got a match pass before, right? Um, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, is it worth it to get the match pass, right? I would probably say that it does depend on your squad, obviously. And this might sound like, you know, saying the obvious or, you know, like saying very, um, you know, common information that everyone should know. But genuinely, I do think that if you are getting the value of the premium match pass, it's more so for kind of strengthening your squad rather than just buying the players, right? Because uh, I think ever since they released the first match pass players, um, every player after that has been kind of hit or miss. Now, when I say hit or miss, right, if you take a look at Tony Cruz here, he's got 29 levels, right? So if we are going to be taking a look at him, he's got a wavering form. I know people will like to use Tony Cruz. He's got interception as a defensive skill. He's got first time shot, one touch pass, true pass and way to pass and low lofted. He's also got a lot of shooting stats as well. The problem with Cruz is not his speed or acceleration stats. It's just more the type of player that he is. He is kind of a slower less mobile version uh you know of a lot of those attacking midfielders player uh, midfielder players i would even say that like that midfielder role now unless you're playing like a top top guy like kaka or someone like that who's obviously going to be you know a coins card and very hard to you know get like free to play um i think it's in a different kind of category because obviously if somebody saves up if you've never bought a match pass before you will get it for 250 or else 500 for the premium okay if you are a newcomer a lot of people ask me because a lot of people are still downloading the game new every month and this is all new information to them even though for us this is rinse and repeat we've been playing the game for so long right so the value match pass is 500 for me because i've already bought match passes in the in the in the past right whereas the premium match pass is going to be a thousand for me whereas for you know somebody that's never bought a match pass is going to be 500 okay so the thing is right is the way you're looking at it is is tony cruz worth 250 well probably not but the rest of the the rewards that you get in here including the five star and the coins back right you're not essentially you know buying uh, the value or premium match pass and been getting nothing back because even with the value pass here you are going to be getting a five star at 20 levels you're going to have 50 coins you're going to have 100 coins back you're going to have another 50 coins here which is 150 in total then another which is 200 at 45 and this goes all the way up to here at i think 75 levels right so you get your 200 coins back so it's no brainer if you have never bought the match pass before you're basically able to unlock the value match pass for 250 coins and get 200 coins back so it's costing you 50 coins so it's a no-brainer to buy one of the match passes all you have to do is save up with the events and get a couple of coins and then obviously you know just log in for a few days and uh you know grind the events it might take you two weeks to unlock the match pass that's about it right the premium match pass is going to be a little bit different because the contracts have now lost all in my opinion all all uh value right you can just buy contracts for gp it's so easy to grind gp the trainers you can get trainers quite easily now as well by grinding um you know like the co-op events and stuff like that i think that everyone should buy one of the match passes uh at least um you know just to kind of give your squad a real boost uh with with xp and stuff but i probably would only buy it with free coins right even with this one if you're paying a thousand coins here you are getting a lot of trainers right you are getting a lot of trainers as you see here um they'll say about like the match pass and they'll say about the special war or the special players and what you actually get in this there is nowhere where it's like you know you need to get the match pass to um to survive right even if you're pushing up the top levels your main thing is you're going to be playing the same probably 20 25 players in your squad at all times and these five stars also which we'll go into in a second we've already done the mvp packs with rice and stuff and griezmann they're not really game-changing players. If you've been playing the game for even a month, you're going to have a better team than that with the free players they give you and the grind and, and a bit of luck that you will, you know, always get with the player of the weeks, right? So the five stars of the coins kind of lose value when you're paying a thousand, even though you get two uh, five stars there um, and you get two or three four stars, right? So there is lots to like about this, especially, right? But I know most people will look at the cards and be like, yeah, this guy could be good, Um but I just feel like that this guy is just a, you know, a regular kind of built player, right? Now, when we actually take a look over on eFootballDB here, we will actually take a look at his cards here um, and show you, right? So this guy is from PSV. 
he's fairly good. He's got he's got really nice speed. He's got really nice acceleration. I mean, he can go into like ninety five acceleration and ninety five or ninety uh, five acceleration and ninety five speed. If you're looking for just a pure uh, right wing, you know, dribbling beast, he doesn't he doesn't need to be able to shoot that much. If you're just going to be cutting in with him and using him that way, you know, uh, a lot of people will say like, oh, you know, Neymar can't do this or Neymar can't do that. But if you've got a specific role for a specific player, you can always sub him off. I mean, if you've got, you know, three center forwards up front and you find that you're not, it's not working for you, you can always bring on Cantona or you can always bring on Giroud or you can always bring on Benzema or Cristiano instead of somebody that's small like Lautaro Martinez or Romario or Mike Lone or whoever that you use. So for me, I think that this guy is just a run of the mill uh, winger. I don't really rate him whatsoever. Um, in the value pack with Cruz, Cruz got 29 levels. Obviously, this needs to be fixed, but the three levels are not going to make a difference too much. I personally think the passing at the moment is completely busted. Even with the low pass at like 90 or even at 95, there is no real difference because the passing is determined a lot of the time by like the angles that you can create. But it's still, when you do quicken up the passing, it is very, very difficult to get flow and pass and movement unless you're mo using the, the highest pass assist. And if you are using that, then those stats even become less, you know, important because the game is even more handholdy, right? So what I would say is that if you are buying the packs or buying the match pass, I wouldn't be buying it for any of these reasons for the players um, because Cruz is just an average creative player. Uh, you know, yeah, he can go to like 70 speed and 73 acceleration. You can kind of play him deep in the pocket and he has a bit of shooting about him as well. He's not a bad card. Um, but for me personally, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't think that they're kind of like the cards that you would want to go for um, personally, right? So yeah, that is kind of it, lads, right? The rest of the packs that you're going to be getting now is once you have your login bonuses, you're going to be getting your login bonuses every week, right? Or every day. You also have the daily game, which I don't think there's ever been a better time for a free-to-play player to actually enjoy this game. Now, watch me miss this penalty, right? When I'm on, on the... No, we stick those boys. But yeah, there's never been a better time, in my opinion, to actually jump in as a freebie, right? As a freebie player where you're literally just going to play the game and literally not spend a cent on the game, right? You get free rewards every single day that you join in. You come in and you're going to be just unlocking everything. I mean, we're... Look, we're one spin away from another couple of XP, GP. You literally just have to log in and get these. And this is just for logging in, doing the daily game. Look at what we've got today so far, right? We're going to have all of this stuff here. Look, from the login and from everything else. And then obviously from playing the eFootball League as well. Um, but we're going to have a lot of stuff here that we can just continue to grind and continue to push up, right? So yeah, for me, I think the match pass definitely needs to be revisited. Like the player of the weeks, I think that they need to be revisited. You can get the free five-star player here and sign Griezmann or Declan Rice, and that'll be it. You'll dip in and dip out of that MVP uh, nominating contract for free, and I think that's enough for the regular. The value in the premium this week, I don't think are worth it unless you're short on XP, genuinely. And XP is so easy to grind now. It's so easy to grind if you check out my video on how to grind XP and train your players. I think the match pass definitely needs to be kind of like restructured because at the moment it's kind of out of date as to what it rewards you with so that is it for me lads i will talk to you guys in a bit let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts on this am i talking sense or am i talking crap <laughs> let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe we will be back monday with a huge stream monday as we search for maldini we'll have a video up on what's coming monday very very soon peace